Lebanon's Beka Valley, which sits just over the mountains from Syria, boasts some of the most fertile farming terrain in the country. The conflict across the border has not only destroyed cities and villages, it's also badly affected the country's agricultural sector. Livestock keepers leaving Syria have entered Lebanon with large numbers of unvaccinated sheep, goats and dairy cattle. The spread of transboundary animal diseases is a major problem. Local farming communities are paying a heavy price. The most common problems we are having is animal fever. Some are dying. We can't support to get a doctor. And also, we don't have enough feed for the cattle. The viruses are affecting our income. Before, we used to get some income from the sheep, but this year, we didn't get anything. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations is overseeing the second year of a campaign to vaccinate livestock in areas along the border. The campaign is funded by the UK government and sponsored by FAO. It aims to reduce the spread of disease, cut down the numbers of animals dying, and ultimately protect the prospects of people living in the area. If something happens to the cows, we will be in the streets. We are two old people with small children. The vaccination is helping with diseases, but we still can't afford doctors. With up to 20% of Lebanon's active population working in agriculture, the impacts and potential benefits of managing to immunize cattle and chickens here are obvious. Experts say they've detected three main transboundary animal diseases in Lebanon brought in because of the lack of checks. We are covering over 95% of the national herd. We want to vaccinate against three transboundary animal diseases, meaning that they are very contagious diseases that can move from one country to another. And due to the crisis in Syria, we are very worried that those diseases could come into the country. Then we are protecting the herd, the national herd, against foot and mouth disease, pest de petit ruminant, and lumpy skin disease. As well as administering vaccinations and training people to detect disease, an early warning alert system is being set up to connect different parts of the country and limit the spread of disease. All this said, the situation is a long way from being under control. We have 70,000 cows and around 900,000 sheep and goats that are in an emergency state right now. The Syrian crisis is still going on. Huge numbers of cattle are still coming into the country, so the campaign must continue. Further accentuating the problem is that Syrian workers arriving here in Lebanon are willing to sell their animals and dairy products for very low prices. Farmer field schools are also in place. Their aim? To establish safer practices, boosting yields and incomes. This school is helping farming communities build better chicken coops. It's teaching people to keep the facilities clean, all of which makes for better quality eggs and ultimately better nutrition. People here will continue to need food, crop and livestock assistance in the foreseeable future. While the war in Syria has placed an unprecedented burden on Lebanon, there's also the hope that this project could become a positive economic opportunity.
That's because there's now a definite need to develop small-scale agriculture production because of a bigger demand for food. While disease can impact safety and reduce production, enhancing it can have a direct and positive impact on food security.